New Got releases. It. Let's do it. So are you going to pick up uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the PlayStation while you can? Before they pull <laughs> it from the stores? Next week I heard that's happening. Yeah, next week uh, <laughs> that goes into effect. Xbox is going to be like, yoink. They're literally sending people to each GameStop to take it off the shelf. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will probably check my library for a copy of that game mm-hmm. and uh, play through the campaign, hopefully. May have to wait a little bit. But I heard the campaign was was good. Is it good? My son my son said he wants to play a Call of Duty campaign. So I have to figure out. I think I have a disc somewhere that I can give him. How, how old is he? He's 11. He wants to play a Call of Duty campaign. That's what, That was his request. I haven't given him one to play yet. He's been playing a lot of Fall Guys lately, but I feel like it's a big a good lead up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a leap to go from Fall Guys to Call of Duty, but you know, I'm again, interested on that one because uh, yeah, single player, not multiplayer well, Call I, of Duty. Yeah, but single Just, player Call of Duty is it's a lot pretty, of dying, pretty rough. Eleven year olds can handle it. They're they're already desensitized to all this shit. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's really the question. Like, do I have them play the one with the the airport shooting, or I think I have that somewhere. Or that's or, the one you should probably start with, just right, right on that scene. Like, what is the is there an appropriate single player, or maybe like Modern Warfare, the one that's sort of a little more futuristic? Oh, Infinity is, War or something? Infinity yeah, something? Uh, Modern Warfare Infinity? Modern Warfare. I mean, this is Modern Warfare. Modern yeah, so, Warfare this it's kind of a little futuristic, but not yeah. really. Yeah, was there one? What year was that one? That yeah, that was, was the one that that was in outer space. That was the good one. Yeah, that was the one that yeah. I spoiled. Everyone hated it, but us. Right. I like that one. That was the one that she'd be spoiled. I just uh, said that. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. What else we got? There you go. Uh, Arkanoid. I'm, I'm is interested. Out. Let's. I, I'm interested to see. Like, so would you be sitting there with him while he played it? Probably would... not. Hmm. I think the whole point is. I mean, it's you know. Do you want your dad sitting with you while you're playing a single player? game i don't know at I a just, certain like, age i don't know i did I, don't... I wanted my dad to hang out but he he didn't want to <laughs> want to listen to opera yeah. yeah i don't know i mean i I would probably check in on him i don't know if i'd sit there the whole yeah, time why don't you check in on i feel like you should check in on yeah him. Just, just, just to see like, if he's having a seizure or something yeah again this hasn't happened i like want to make has sure he played any no i like i i it, you're the parent but I, this is just again me inquiring things. I like to learn things. Has mm-hmm. he played? He, has he played anything first-person shooter-wise? That's anywhere no. near what this is? No, not even close. You mean a no. killing simulator? Right. Is that what you no, mean, Chip? That's, that's what just I mean. No, I mean he's played Fortnite and he's played Fall Guys, and that's literally his breadth of knowledge on console games. Those are oh, lightweight like, killing simulators. This is more an in-depth, realistic killing simulator. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't kill anyone in either of those games. So Fortnite? I feel like you should buy it and just put it there and act like it's not for him. And that would be the more acceptable route for you not to know that he was playing this. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Again, maybe he starts at something else that's a little more lighthearted. And no, no one dies in Fortnite. It's part of the thing. Right. Like it, it's a pretty big like jump here to like here's some pretty real killing. Mm-hmm. In yeah. This oh, game. it might be too much for him. A hundred percent. That's again, it's it's a conversation that we're having on this I show. I think he'll embrace we, the killing. We are. <laughs> I think he'll be fine with the killing. It's part of American society. It's ingrained in us. Mm-hmm. Lots it of is, guns. It is his Second Amendment right. What what made like what made him go like? I don't know. Maybe he saw was it a all commercial. the commercials. It must have been a commercial. Is my guess. Hmm. I mean, he's seen me play games that are probably a more adult than he should be seeing. I mean, he really loved Doom Eternal. I he learned it from watching it. you, Dad. But that's also not killing people. That's killing right. demons. It's it's so adult, it's, but it's adult in a different way. Like, yeah, the themes, the themes, and like the actual like killing of people that have humanity behind them. Well, mm-hmm. I understand what you're going. What you're, yeah, you're going. your son may and not no, love I'm, humanity. I'm not trying this. to have like a parent, like your terrible parent conversation with you here right Thanks. at this moment. <laughs> um, but 
No, no, it, it's really just curiosity because I mean, my kids aren't old enough for this yet. So I'm just, I'm just understanding the uh, the well, society that we live in now. <coughs> I, I I haven't figured it out yet either. That was sort of why I was bringing it up. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not like, oh my god, he should he shouldn't, but I'm also no, it's teeter, it's teetering there, right? It's yeah. Just... If he said he wanted to play Call of Duty online, I would say no. Interesting. Right, why why that? Why I think that... when you, I don't want him dealing with the other people. Oh, you can just mute the... all the people though. I know, but even then it's just I'm one like, button push. Mm, yeah. I'd rather I'd rather him I don't know. I just I feel like there's just something a little bit more I don't know. The body count is a lot than... lower in the multiplayer. That's true. And it's more like a competitive sport. Killing Maybe you should start with Call of Duty 2, the Xbox the Xbox 360 game, Call of Duty 2, the at least launch title. Act like you're teaching him history or something. <laughs> yeah, like a little World War II. Get a little World yeah, War II. Yeah, you can learn some, something. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got? Um, Let's see. Let's see. Re releases of Resident Evil, re releases of Lego Star Wars, Arkanoid. Re release I, of Arkanoid? I'm interested in that one. That one, Arkanoid Eternal Battle, that's the one that has uh, Battle Royale. It's Arkanoid expensive, style. though. It's expensive. It is. It's, it's, it's $30. And there's DLC on day one. Well, you're going to want the Space Scout pack without, without a doubt for $1.99 after you weird. spent your $30. Um, so weird. But I don't know. Like They almost have me at that $30. Like I'm, I'm down for a good Arkanoid. I think you'd be happier with Missile Command Recharged 2.0. Well, I already have Missile Command Recharged no point .0s. Okay. Um, this is the second Missile Command Recharged game that we, we've gotten. Yes, and I this one they sent me. Yeah. It, is it good? I bet it's good. It, it is good. You know what it is? It's Missile Command, but it looks really good. It's a really good-looking Missile Command. So... I just mm -hmm. got my new wave toys missile command uh crazy edition today just showed up did you ever play the uh the jaguar version of missile command no i didn't know anybody about a jaguar i played that over the week i can't i i think i'm allowed to say that i'm playing the atari 30th anniversary uh 50th anniversary edition sorry the atari 50th anniversary they sent me a code for that also and it has Missile Command on the Jaguar. And that is one weird, weird game. It's a first person perspective. Where you're I looking, remember oh. that. I remember that. It's very strange. But anyway, I digress. Missile Command Recharge 2.0 is very good. I will talk more about Atari 50th on another episode. Nice. Just playing Atari Mania. I got through that. How has he finished that? We are the official podcast of Atari. <laughs> They're back. They're back. Better that they never went away. When you start talking about their cryptocurrency, that's when I'd we know it's not. over. Yeah. I think that went away, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe. It's built into the hats now. <laughs> what else? Is that it for new releases? Um, for us. <laughs> for, for us, probably. There's a new Asterix and Obelix game. I don't like that. I'll I'll play that at some point. Bayonetta three, right? It's supposed it's to be out. good, I think. Probably. It's, it has all the voiceovers in it, so you know, all the voices. What else? I, mean, I don't. I mean, there's there's so many Switch games here. <laughs> I know. All right, should we should we head over to Wombat's fortnightly news? I don't should know. Still scrolling. Oh my! Too much scrolling. <laughs> Stop do stop doom scrolling. Uh you ready? We'll yeah. start with the with the big Fortnite news. Yeah. They added OG trilogy Star Wars characters for the first time to uh Fortnite. OG. OG Han Solo, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia with a little R2 D2 on her back. Heavy. Yeah. That'd be hard. He's it very heavy. Hard. I'm sure. I mean, I watched the video. They do a good job of like rendering the characters. Like Princess Leia looks like dead on Princess Harry Leia Fisher. from the movie. Yeah, I, I know. Mean, like dead on. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, only Luke is like a little off, but still looks really good. Like they always do a good job. Yeah, they did a good job with how everyone looks. 
they gave lots of different, well, not lots of different, but it's like Luke in the first movie, white outfit, or the third movie, black outfit, or the third movie, black outfit with the cloak on. Get it. You, yep. Got you options. Got, you got Han Solo in the blue pants or Han Solo in the brown pants. You know, you want you want those choices. No uh, Hoth. No Ooh. Hoth outfits. But uh, Maybe next year. Yeah, you got Princess Leia bounty hunter disguise. Princess Leia in the classic white with the buns. And yeah. for five hundred dollars, you get Slave Leia. I think the whole set, right. if you real, if you bought everything Star Wars, it's about forty five dollars. You right. get Slave Leia. No, but you get uh, next speeder year, bike. Next year. You, you can ride on a speeder bike anywhere you want, anytime, slowly on a speeder bike. Yeah, I didn't buy any of it, which I I don't know. Is that surprising? Like they have other. They already had Darth Vader and like Boba Fett yeah. and stuff, right? Or I Mandalorian have, yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, I have the Mandalorian because that was a battle pass, and I have Darth Vader because he was in the battle pass. Those are my two Star Wars skins. None of the I, I I think for some reason in the game I really like the way the Mandalorian looks, and I'm happy with that as my Star Wars guy. If I need a Star Wars guy, I also like the Imperial March emote because that's pretty funny because it plays the music and you just kind of walk there. Do, 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 do. So I don't know. Is there a re- is is there like a Star Wars anniversary or something or did they just they they're doing Star Wars week is the event that they threw in the game. And there's lightsabers on the map. You can pick up and you can fight people with lightsabers. And if you do all yeah. the whatever tacked on quests that they threw in there, you get a lot of XP. To help can you deflect the, the uh the you, bullets? Can def- you can deflect bullets with that's actually one of the quests is to, to deflect 15 bullets with a lightsaber now that's a quest that i can really sink my teeth into it's kind of cool actually when someone i did it there was a guy standing on a roof and he kept shooting at me and i went do 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 and i watched the little counter because i had it flagged i waited for it to get up to 15 and then i jumped on the roof and killed him so right, i mean went, enough of that Yep. <laughs> right. Thanks for helping me get this get the XP. Now it's time to slice your head off. Wow. Uh huh. Fortnite's the best. Cool. And yeah. Mm-hmm. They also brought back horde mode, and there was a big update this week. They brought horde back mode? a lot of that doesn't horde, sound family friendly. Horde mode. Oh, that I get it. That makes yeah, more sense. Horde mode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now horde mode, and I finished those challenges before we did the show, so that was nice. Nice. I got a pickle Rick. Great. I'm yeah. very happy for you. Send I know everyone pickle. wants a pickle Rick. Mm-hmm. I could put a pickle Rick on my back. Sweet. Mm-hmm. What else do we got in your fortnightly news? Uh, we have, uh, let's see, PlayStation Plus lost 2 million subscribers when it launched its new tiered system. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people just like, like, nah, this is too confusing. But here's the flip side of that. This is a two-pronged statement. Ooh. They lost 2 million subscribers. They made 10% more in revenue. So. They know what they're doing. System. I'm sure the they tier- did the math on this before they. Yeah. The Elon plan. <laughs> no, this is the opposite. Because this, this one system, works. Yeah, this clearly works. It's one thing to lose people. But if you make more money. Sure. You can always get those people back too. Yep. It's not like they're mm-hmm. never going to subscribe again. Yeah. Uh, so also what happened this week? Uh, so I just thought that was interesting and it's, it's, it'd be, if those numbers change in any way, if they start making less money and losing more people, but I think this just might be sort of a leveling with the new systems. I actually don't think they're as bad as a lot of other people do, but that's just me. Right. All right. Yeah. 